six main classes of food. They are carbohydrates, protein, fats and oils, vitamins, mineral salts, and water. My name is Tobe, and today we're going to learn the importance of carbohydrates, the importance of proteins, and the importance of fats and oils. Let's start with carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are energy-giving foods. During respiration, carbohydrates are oxidized to give energy and heat. The energy is used for work. For example, walking, running, talking, and breathing, while the heat is used to regulate body temperature. Some sources of carbohydrates are yam, rice, potatoes, bread, wheat, and so on. Proteins are body-building foods. They are needed in the body for building new cells, repairing damaged tissues, and for growth. When protein is not adequate in our body, it may result in poor health in an adult. But if the person is a child, it may lead to stunted growth, weak muscles, swollen legs, protruding stomach, and change of hair color. This condition in children is called kwashioko. The sources of protein are milk, fish, egg, chicken, meat, beans, yogurts, and melons. So, if you want to grow big and strong, make sure to eat foods with protein. Just like carbohydrates, fats and oils are also energy-giving foods. Fats are solid at room temperature, while oils are liquids at room temperature. Fats are essential for providing warmth and protecting delicate organs. When carbohydrates are inadequate for respiration, fats are used to provide energy for the body. Major sources of fats and oils are palm oil, groundnuts, margarine, and coconut oil. Let's recap what you have learned today. You have learned the six classes of food, benefits of carbohydrates, benefits of proteins, and the benefits of fats and oil. And we have now reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.